Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back. It's the Musical People of Journey's new rock album review show. My name is Nigel, and welcome to my amazing panel to William, to Ian, to Simon, to Trish, and to Chris. Uh, we are reviewing all the latest rock albums on our journey, 378 um, albums, um, and this is our last album of the month, uh, for this panel anyway, um, and uh, we are reviewing uh, Pain and their album I Am, and um, we're going to rate it out of five, see if it hits our Hall of Fame, it's got to get more than an average of five to get into our, our Hall of Fame, maybe even the possibility of getting into our list of albums of the year. Um, so, um, yeah, let's start with the biggest pain of the lot, and that is Simon. Um, Simon, uh, what did you, what did you, th- uh, don't you, don't you, don't, don't you feel sorry for him. Um, so, um, so what did you think of, um, of, uh, let me, uh, before you do that, Simon, why don't I tell people a little um, bit about what, what they're, yeah, why not, oh, why not? Why not, why not treat yourself? Uh, uh, they, yeah. they, they are a musical project from Sweden that makes heavy metal, uh, with influences from electro music and techno, the project started as a hobby uh, for frontman uh, Peter, uh, whose idea was to infuse heavy metal with the 1980s by electro star, electro industrial and techno influences. Uh, who's also a vocalist, guitarist for Hypocrisy, and producer of his own Abyss Studios, um, and is the only current member. Uh, Payne's self debut album was released in '97, and since then, Payne's released six more albums and DVD, started with the second. All of Payne's albums have made the Swedish charts, thanks to large part singles such as End of the Line, Shut Your Mouth, Same Old Song, and uh, In Early. Currently, Payne is under Nuclear Blast Records. In 2008, Payne was on tour supporting performer Finnish symphonic power metal Nightwish, and during his tour, singer Peter, drummer David, and bassist Johan were assaulted by a gang in Leipzig, uh, received 10 stitches to his face, one and suffered concussion and stitches to his head, and, uh, and um, uh, Holster Glavel. Uh, had his nose broken. Oh, bastard. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, so they have been through pain. Um, and, and now we're about well, to hopefully go Hopefully they through... won't go through any more. Uh, well, yeah. we're about to because Simon's, uh, Simon's about to talk. Simon, uh, let's... Uh... <laughs> He's experienced some real pain. Uh, so, so, yeah, I've not heard this band before. Um, this sort of like dark electro metal uh, they're fused here with these sort of like haunting tunes that leave me sort of co- happily confused as to whether to headbang or to rave so why not both the industrial metal electro mix it kind of reminds me of like uh, a lighter version of like stabbing westward and those sorts of bands a bit but there's this more sort of like traditional metal sound behind it and yeah I, listening to the album i was just never quite sure what to think um i really liked the track revolution it's got that, uh, and then there's sort of like that heartbeat style esque pause, um, sort of like two thirds through, and then the sound tempo changes a bit, and it's almost like there's two songs that have been blended into one. And that's kind of represents my feels over like a lot of the album. It's sort of like it's, a, it's, it's really, it was really enjoyable. Um, and I liked this fusion of the different styles. I'd have actually liked, though, to maybe have some different variety of style of song, maybe something that went heavily into the electro, heavily into the metal, or something that was a ballad, or something just to mix it up, which sounds weird, considering the whole thing is a blend and a mix, but it, yeah, I'd, I'd have liked something just to break up the album a little bit more with a different different sort of vibe to it, but it's not always ne- necessarily needed, but yeah... I, I enjoyed the album overall. I want to check out more of what they've done, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing more from them. And I think they'd be really fun to see live. There you go. Well, somebody that we always have fun when we see him live. Um, his name is William, and he is a superstar. Trying to Hello. Off, trying to finish <clears throat> off the month in a positive style. Um, oh, uh, William, I love positivity. What, what did you think of Pain? So, not only have I heard of the the band Pain before. I'm also a big fan of the works of the 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 fella who founded it, whose name I cannot pronounce for help me. I think it's like Tiedgren. Tiedgren. I think that's how the pronunciation goes. So he's a pretty cool guy. He uh, runs a studio where he does all the editing and mixing for a certain Swedish band we may know called Sabaton. Uh, he has guest vocaled and guitar worked in a few of their songs, mainly in the Colorus Rex album, the best album. Um, He's also formed another Muji project, which we'll ignore, called Lindemann, with the lead singer of Rammstein, which is also fantastic. Uh, this, oh man, this is awesome. I love it. 
it's it's again quite biased here but i i really really like this kind of style of work he does again of that you know electronic mixed of industrial those heavy sort of sounds and things like that it's, it's really really cool it's clear that you know this this album's been a long time in the coming with um the being some party in my head was released as a single i think back in 2021 i think i remember hearing it like the day after it came out then ah oh, this is awesome and then <laughs> you know three odd years later there's actually an album here uh this is this is a really 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 cool album and yeah i i yeah i'm gonna start fanboying if i keep talking too much so i'll, I'll leave it here <laughs> Uh, somebody we don't want to leave it there because we all love his dulcet tones. Um, uh, Chris, oh, uh, yes, yeah, so I, yeah, I, I think everything that uh, Will and Simon have said, uh, yeah, resonates with me as well. I really like this. Um, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of consistency with the blend that they've put into this. So it is blending all the, the different genres as, as Simon says. I think I kind of agree with Simon as well. I, I like. The consistency, but I want some meaty chunks that are slightly different. Um, you know, they, they, it's like they've they've taken the stew and they blended it just a little bit too much. Leave a couple of lumps in there for me just to uh, to get them on. Um, I I I can you know, from from what we were saying, you can definitely find the uh, the influences of you know, people like uh, well, it's clear that he's worked with people like Sabaton and Ramstein and all the others because there's there's real overtones to it here. I do quite like the fact that you know there's some some of the more the lighter comedy moments to some of the uh, lyrics as well um so yeah i just think it worked uh, really well i so i was talking to, to trish about this a couple of weeks ago i somehow managed to stray into um listening to other pain music which obviously means that i liked it because i looked at other stuff because they do a really good cover of eleanor rigby and i know what nigel thinks about cover songs um but i just somehow found that i was listening to that while you know uh, doing the reviews for this so i thought this is brilliant how, how, how have i not heard this before because it is actually quite an old cover uh, but yeah, I just really like them, so I started straight to listen to other stuff they've done as well. So yeah, it, it was really good for me. If they've done something different with Helen or Brie, I might like it. What I don't like is people just doing the same song and for the same tempo and the same musicality. I like, I like covers when they do something different. Um, somebody's always different because she's the best. Uh, Trish White, um, what do you think? Hey, so. This album started off with industrial sound guitars and drums, which I have come to love. So it's intrigued what was yet to come. And wow, what a second track with Don't Wake the Dead. With a bit of a techno pop twist and deep vocals, which had a beat that had me moving along. Every track that followed was full on in your face. I couldn't pick a favourite track. I was absolutely loved this album and had it on repeat. As one of the tracks on the album is called Party In My Head. And that is totally what I had. Bloody awesome job. I so want to see them live. Ian, what... <clears throat> I mean, what do you think, mate? You've had a rough old month. You've not... It's not been a great... Other than Goth Minister, it's not been a... It's not been a great month. What, did, this, no. was this, did this improve with you? Or was it still painful? Well... I, my my expectations were high when the email came out with this on it. The way I read it, I read it as a war cry statement from Yoda as he challenges into battling uh, the the uh, the Empire by saying, "Pain, I am." <laughs> <laughs> that's Yoda when he goes and, to the dark side, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, love it, love it. And I, I uh, absolutely did love it. I'm just going to switch to my notes, so uh, apologies for disappearing. Uh, it was a powerful and energetic album. I really love the energy of it. Uh, the unity of the play and the band. The, there was a lot of really good technical stuff in there. A lot of uh, it didn't just flow in the kind of the normal musical lyric if you like lyrics the wrong word but the musical flow where you go okay now it's going to go to this note now it's going to go to that chord and it didn't flow a normal thing there were quite a lot of sort of um little sound curves in there but the whole band went that different route and sometimes varying their roots uh to that different sound that which really stood out for me it was brilliant that was really highlighted in the new norm that was the standout track for me uh i could listen to that track on repeat for 
just over and over and over. Um, uh, a, a little bit of a criticism, but it's not done anything to um, reduce my love for the album. On My Angel, they had a guest singer. Uh, and unfortunately, I think they low-leveled the um, mic volume a bit too much on that. I would have liked that not to be as low. Um the vocals and production are awesome in fair game and it really is i think <clears throat> we talk about opening tracks and instrumentals and bits and pieces we we very rarely talk about not very rarely but not often talk about closing tracks i think this is the quintessential album closing track and i want to go and see them live a to hear them b to really feel it but also see what they do with such an amazing album closing track. Um, absolute standout album this month for me. Oh, well. It's not the band. It's one man. All the guitar, the drums, the singing is just him. Ooh, it's just really? one person. Yeah. They've got a touring uh, member that makes the tour, so but the actual thing. recording and the uh, and everything else is just, just one guy. Not there. Wow. And wow. produced also by him because he's a producer too. Um, Oh, oh I did not know that. Thank you, Will. Cool mm. guy. So, with a yeah. hard to say name. When you um, yeah, nice. so, when we look at previous winners of album of the year, and you and for me, I got butterflies just thinking about the album and listening to it. Um, this is what this album does for me. I think I've listened to this album between twenty and thirty times. I absolutely fucking love this album. It is everything. I actually like it to a tame version of Electric Callboy, um, which puts them much more into my wheelhouse. Um, just that techno vibe sometimes that kind of comes out. I mean, they're not because they go off, Electric Callboy go in different directions and this, but sometimes it feels some of the songs are there. Party in my head, man. I can't get that goddamn fucking song out of my head. Um, it is a party Agreed. in my head. It's just so good. Um, and, and so far from me, Don't Wake the Dead, uh, this whole album I could have filled with my cool songs. And I always pick three, and those are the three that kind of made it. Um, possibly, definitely my favourite album of the year so far, um, and it's going to take a lot of beat, and I know what's coming, and we know what's coming down, down the line, mm -hmm. uh, which is really going to kind of challenge it. Um, I'm going so much fun with this goddamn album. It's so fucking good. It's such a... Oh, it's such a cool album. It's so good. Every single track is strong, and 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 the variety in it is brilliant. Um, that vibe, the the whole party vibe, it, it almost feels like but you know pop, poppy electro in the ah, oh, just the whole vibe. I absolutely adore this album. I love it so much. I can't tell you how much I love this album. So it's just brilliant. And I'm gonna finish with three words from the album: suck my balls. <laughs> <laughs> and well, there's an invitation. Yeah, wow, well, no, right? Brilliant. Mm. Oh, just fucking love the album. Love the album. Let's find Actually, out. This, this is, <laughs> just, this just is definitely it, like the. Uh, the um, just brilliant. Just brilliant. <laughs> this was like definitely the uh, Yoda reference. This is an epic Yoda battle that I will watch oh. over and over and mm. over again. I be, do you know what? I've been waiting. I've, 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 there's been great albums I've, I've really enjoyed this year, but I've just been waiting for that special album to come out for me personally. And for me, um, even though was, I would have said right at the beginning that this would be my wheelhouse, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, right, let's find out our scores then. Uh, Simon? Ooh, we gave it a 3.5. We boo hiss. Um, movie Superdog, <laughs> William? You're on mute, William Newby. Come on. Sorry, I had to sneeze on. I forgot. Uh, a mighty 4.5. Chris Cully. Uh, the party in my head only gave it a four, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, boo his. Trish, Trish, come on. Deliver it. Party in my head gave it a five. five. Oh. Was Ian in our party in our head, Ian? I gave it a one. No, I didn't. I gave it a five. <laughs> yes! Ah. <laughs> Five from me, of course. Gloriously five wow. from me. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, um, very interestingly that this album has scored an average because we dropped the fucking 3.5. Um, has scored 4.7. It is our joint highest ever wow. rated album. It is our joint Jeez. number one album. Jesus. Uh, there. Um, 
is yeah, along exactly. with I think three or four other albums out there as well. Um, stupendous! It is our number one album of the year by a mile. Uh, the nearest one I think was our two two with four point five. This has got yeah. four point seven, um, and is up there. It's gonna be. It's gonna be an album of the year, definitely. I think um, this is my first five that actually resonates with everybody. Right. <laughs> All my five so far this year well, yeah. have gone completely diametrically opposite everyone. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I can't sing highly enough of it. I'm really pleased that... Um, do you know what you get? I mean, never soon you think, oh, do everybody like like the album as much as I like it? Um, and, it and it's typical. But um, anyway, there we go. Um yeah. That's exciting way to finish off uh, this panel's yeah. review of the month. Um, from that perspective, thank you very much. Please, if you like what you heard, hit the like and subscribe button. But uh, I'm Nigel, so thank you very much. Keep on rocking. Thank you very much to my wonderful panel, to uh, to William, to Chris, to Simon, uh, to Ian, and to the wonderful rock chick, Trish. Thank you very much. Goodbye for everybody. Keep safe. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody.